Hello, my name is Tony Pattinson. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the plotter to measure angles. In this diagram you can see a simple cross labelled 0, 90, 180 and 270 degrees respectively. Take a look at the red line. It has two possibilities depending on which way you would be measuring. That's called the reciprocal and the reciprocal is always 180 degrees away. So, we've got two possible answers here. One could be between 0 and 90, and the other could be between 180 and 270. It all depends on which way the line is going. In the previous slide, we showed the line going through the center. But it won't always be like that. But it still doesn't matter. There's still only the same two possibilities here. Just because it doesn't go through the center, you should still think in terms of the two quadrants. So now with the arrowhead on the line, it's clear that we've only got one answer. The answer must be between 0 and 90. And we can guess that it's, oh, it looks a little bit bigger than 45, so let's guess that it's 50 degrees. That's what you need to know before you pick up the plotter, and you'll see why in a later slide. In this example, it's clear that the answer must be between 90 and 180. I'm sure by now you're getting the hang of this. This one is clearly between 180 and 270. And finally, here's the last quadrant. This one is between 270 and 360, otherwise known as zero degrees. Okay, so on this slide, our boat is clearly heading up into the top right-hand quadrant. So its course must be something between 0 and 90 degrees. And from what we learned earlier, we're going to guess that it's around about 50. In the next few slides, you'll see the plotter being used to actually measure the actual angle. So, in this diagram, the red line represents the course that the boat is taking. We know from previous that the answer is going to be somewhere between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. So the first thing we do is we roughly put the edge of the plotter more or less along the line. It doesn't have to be exact at this stage. Next we put the bullseye either on a line of longitude or a line of latitude. In this case I'm going to use the lines of latitude because that's closest. So I just slide it up and I make sure that I have the bullseye the bullseye on the line of latitude and the edge of the plotter along the course line. And then I read off from here and I've got four possible numbers 142, 3, what is that, 330, 322, excuse me, can't read upside down, 232 or 52. And based on what we knew from our, our pre-thinking, the fact that we knew it was going to be between 0 and 90, it has to be that number. We can't possibly use any of the others. That's why you have to do that thinking ahead of time. Now alternatively, you could have slid this down and put it on the line of uh, longitude. like so. So now we have the line along the edge, the bullet is on the line of longitude, and now we read off from these four numbers. We have the same four numbers that we had before, they're just on different scales. And again, the one that we need is between 0 and 90, so it has to be 52. It can't be any of the others. That's how you use the plotter to measure the angle of a line. I hope you found this short tutorial interesting and useful. In future tutorials I'll show you how to draw lines at specific angles using the plotter. I'll also show you how to use a Portland plotter, which is an alternative to the plotter that you were supplied with as part of your course. Both of these plotters, like all sorts of other navigational equipment, can be obtained from Why Not Sailing.